Christmas, everybody. It's uh, the morning of December 25th, 2021, Ottawa County, Michigan, sitting here on private land. I've got my 450 Bushmaster. I'm sitting in an old stand that I've taken a lot of deer out of over the years. I haven't had the opportunity to sit this stand in a few years. So super excited for sunrise and uh, hoping for a nice big doe. Uh, I'm out here with my buddy Doug and his son Hunter. Uh, they're probably a couple hundred yards from me. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's going to be a quick hunt. I'm just going to hunt until probably 9, 9.30 and then uh, go celebrate with family and friends. Again, Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year to you. We'll see what happens. all of 
I've shot out of it is hand loads that uh, my brother Chris and I have done. Uh, he had a custom recipe already whipped up for his 300 wind mag. Uh, it's a Ruger if I remember right. And it shoots real well out of my rifle anyways. And uh, right away I put a leaf hold on it. It's just been a, a very, very reliable rifle for me. Basically just an extension of my arm. That 450 Bushmaster. I think we bought that in 2018. No, 2017. And we shot quite a few deer with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too. I love it. You shot your bear with it. Mm -hmm. You've shot, I don't know, at least a couple deer with it, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, it seems very reliable to me. And it's comfortable, it's not too heavy, not too much recoil, but enough that it's powerful enough. Yep. Yeah. I like it. That's a Ruger, a ranch rifle. I think it's they refer to it as a Ruger American. I don't know a lot about it. Know the well, you put the crosshairs on dies. So yeah, that's good. That's, that's, that's what we need. <laughs> yep. Uh, I know we started off with the Hornady ammo out of that 450 Bushmaster, and we had just terrible blood trails with it. Um, switched over to the Winchester ammo and was doing much better. My buddy Doug. He has the CVA Scout 450 Bushmaster shooting that Hornady ammo. He has no problems with blood trails. But the barrel on his rifle is six and one quarter inches longer than our Ruger. And I have a hunch that that is making a big enough difference because mm. we certainly get different results. All right, enough about that. Off we go to go hunting. What you doing there? <laughs> Putting new batteries in? Why you ask? <laughs> oh, just for sake of conversation.
uh, December 26th. Merry Christmas, everybody. Ottawa County, Michigan. Sitting up here in a fir tree, uh, watching over a 40-acre chunk of uh, private hardwoods, mostly. Uh, it's kind of an interesting piece of property. It's a eighth of a mile wide by a half mile deep. So I'm out here with my 450 Bushmaster, hoping to put down a nice big fat dough for some freezer felon.
good feeling about tonight. Uh, hoping that uh, Amy gets some action over there where she's at.
pretty sure they're right here. Sea tracks, but these are cold. These are now. I think maybe they're just a little farther than I thought. I just haven't cut the track yet. Oh, I see blood. Okay. Yep, here we go. So I was doing the track job and I saw a deer bust out of here. I looked under this deadfall. Yeah, I could see her bedded there. She was alive, yeah. So I just stuck another one in her. She's she's done now.
was a little more of a workout than I thought it'd be. I thought she died down by the water there, but evidently not. All right, another big doe down. Yes, Ottawa County, Michigan, private land. Late antlerless season, December 27th, 2021. Saw a little uh, small yearling coming through to my left, which would be to the south. And I thought it was just a lone button bug. Watch it for a while, or once in a while, just keeping tabs on him, see what he's doing as he's passing through. A little while later, I noticed there's uh, several more does with him coming through. Uh, three to five, I believe. Anyways, I saw that there was a nice big adult doe in the group. And uh, I thought, yeah, she's the one. So I uh, leveled down with 450 Bushmaster. Really sorry I didn't get it on film. There was just no way to get it done. Uh, I didn't have the right mounts for the camera and everything. Um, I guess I can't get them all. But very grateful for the harvest of this beautiful doe. Uh, the landowner is going to get this deer. He was just talking to me the other day and asked me if uh, I could shoot one for him. So here we go. This will feed his family in the uh, upcoming months and uh, he'll be very excited about that I'm sure so thanks for watching appreciate all the support really means a lot all the nice comments and everything that you guys leave uh, really makes this enjoyable I love to preserve the memory for myself and my family either way but it's just uh, icing on the cake that people like you enjoy uh, watching these videos Thank you so much, Merry Christmas, and have a Happy New Year. Well, when your dad shoots a big doe and he still got Rona, yeah, through I'm the swamp. Staring at it in the rearview mirror now. <laughs> <clears throat> nah. I'm just milking as long as I can. Yeah. We all I know actually, that. I actually don't mind this. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, because he hauled all my two deer for me, so. <laughs> I right never did that. All right. Let's yeah, that keep dragging her through. Let's go through this opening. <laughs> Man, I love this so much.
super excited. <laughs> She's a doozy, huh?